associate qualifications for licensure. Sales associate applicants must be 18 years or older, have a high school diploma or its equivalent, possess a social security number, as we discussed previously. This is where it gets a little more interesting. Be honest and of good character and be competent and qualified to make real estate transactions and conduct negotiations with safety to investors and others in a relationship of trust and confidence. When completing an application, applicants must disclose, regardless of adjudication, whether they have ever been convicted of a crime, entered a plea of no low contender, or are currently under investigation. Any names or aliases See, women that's gotten married or changed your name, your maiden name counts as an alias, like you're hiding your identity. Disclose disciplinary action, such as revocation, annulment, suspension, surrender, or pending investigation has ever occurred against you, or if you have ever been denied or pending denial of a license. My social security number is required to apply for a real estate license, as we have stated multiple times to this point. But why? It's actually not to make sure you're a United States citizen or anything else like that, because as we've said, you don't have to be. The main point is to make sure that you are in compliance with child support obligations. Summary of Applicants Applications of individuals with a criminal history are flagged by the DRE. A list of flagged applicants is prepared every month and placed on the FREC agenda. An applicant who has been disbarred or is guilty of the previously listed offenses will not be considered qualified for a real estate license unless they have a passage of time, good conduct or reputation, or any other significant reason that will cause Freck to believe that giving you a license will not endanger the interest or welfare of the public. A summary of applicants' criminal history records are reviewed by Freck in its monthly meeting. The commissioners will decide whether an applicant listed on the summary of applicants must appear before Freck or not. If the nature of the previous offenses are of a serious nature, criminal history, or if the offenses are recent, then FREC will require the applicant to appear before FREC at their next monthly meeting. The applicant will be given an opportunity to explain the previous offenses, present letters of character, or have someone present to speak on their behalf and indicate that they are fit for licensure. At the conclusion, FREC will vote and then they will either approve or deny the application.